But the fact that not enough influencers know what their KPIs are is scary. It means you're undervaluing yourself. You don't know what to measure. When you don't know what to measure, girl, girl, you're gonna get run over by a truck. <laughs> Alright guys, you seem to really like it when I talk about social media growth and doing my makeup, so we're gonna do that. All right. Hey guys, my name is Jay, nice to meet you. What's up? Welcome to my channel. Today we're talking about influencers and brands and how to properly price yourself. This is something that I'm so passionate about. As influencers, maybe we don't price ourselves enough. We don't know how much we charge or which we should charge and we don't know our value. And as brands, we don't know how to come up to these influencers and kind of make this little thing happen. Uh, I think it's important to finally bring justice. And so this is different than most other YouTubers that are going to be like, okay, use this website and see how much you charge. Okay, charge 50. No, no. No. You guys need to understand the number one problem we're going to go over is finding and communicating the right KPIs. Now, in business, this is called Key Performance Index. Better know that term. It's about to get real freaking repetitive up in here. A little bit of background if you're curious why I'm talking, what I, why, why I'm here. Uh, my name is Jade. I'm an entrepreneur and I've been helping people grow on social media. Yeah, like the, if you're curious to know, a lot of the knowledge I do have is first hand experience. This is not some. Yeah, I'm going to look up some Google. Well, no. This is first-hand experience. My family owns a marketing agency, working with two to five million dollar revenue brands. Anyways, if you feel like an influencer, not knowing what to post, not knowing what to price yourself, how to come up to brands, or on the reverse, you're in a brand and you don't know how to communicate to the influencer, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to this channel. If you're excited to just dive right in, you know what? This is hella value right here. Hella freaking value. By the way, I'm just currently getting ready for a coffee meeting and then I have a few other coaching calls. So if I look a little crazy, I'm just applying the makeup. Let, me, let it be, let it be. Okay, so the way this video is gonna work is first I'm gonna tell you guys a story to really give you guys some context so you really understand it. Sorry if I talk a lot, this is just really for your own benefit. Then I'm gonna go into how to price yourself and then lastly I'm gonna go to how to negotiate and keep going with the brand and the benefits. <laughs> Also, I'm gonna eat and drive. This is one of my favorite things ever. It's dairy-free ice cream. It looks like this. Dairy-free and beautiful. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> now don't you worry. I'm getting into the meat, the core value of this video. I just gotta eat this. Okay, so what I did was I took some of your DMs and put them into questions. Okay, hold up. Is that chocolate on my lips? The heck, I'm such a mess. I truly apologize. For I think one story I did want to tell was just one that kind of got me a little bit mad and why I wanted to create this video. Like it truly got me upset. Like have you ever like, weren't pissed off, but then you started thinking about it more and like, you started overthinking and then you were like really pissed off. I think what I ha what happened was just, uh, actually it was a few months ago. Um, brands occasionally send me emails through my personal brand. They want to sponsor, great, right? And I was responding to a few and one of them started off good. It's a brand that, ah, I can't say their name for non-disclosure, but what I do know is this brand was selling a product and it was a subscription model it's kind of like netflix you know like the monthly subscription model product uh they want to sponsor it so i was like cool cool like i was agreeing with everything they're saying they're sending me their product now what really got me tr thrown off is after i said yes they felt like they had to undervalue my my audience and my skill so they started asking for more saying okay that's not enough and they were adding more and more on top of it until i couldn't have enough uh, they were literally asking me to link this product, link this, also use this a code, also make multiple posts. And I feel like there's a limit. Guys, you can get free products forever and ever, but there's a limit. So, oh shit, that, okay. So what I'm trying to say is with the story with this subscription model brand, I just realized there, everything is fine. You can charge yourself whatever you want. There's no rules. You can barely, you don't even have to listen to me. But there's a limit. An influencer is not your freaking employee. It's not gonna do whatever you want. You have to treat it with fairness. Which brings me to my first thing, which is. And I think brands need to do their research. So many of them, I don't know if you guys, I'll, I'll put one here. Some of them are just like, I love your content so much. I love like your fashion and it's just so generic. I feel like if brands did their research on influencers, an influencer would actually feel like they, they were cared. Like, I don't know if you guys ever get some random ass emails, but they weren't. They weren't personalized, they weren't for you. It was a mass distribution. If you're like a big company, then I get it. But a lot of you guys don't give money at all. A lot of your brands out there I know have no money. You're not shit. So treat your influencers well and make them feel value. I'm telling you, when you make your team feel value, and they will promote your product. So brands do your fucking research. I think influencers need a 
better KPI. Now, what's a KPI, you might ask? KPI stands for Key Performance Index. This is used in every business. And the fact that not enough influencers know what KPI is worries me. This is what you're gonna make money off of. Sorry. Not gonna make money off of the likes and followers. Like, you have to know your value and wherever you place it, you have to be strategic. For example, if you're working with a brand and you like them and they're gonna pay you per view, you have to know that's your KPI, your key performance index, what you measure success upon. That could be likes, that could be followers, that could be legitimate sales. But the fact that not enough influencers know what their KPIs are is scary. It means you're undervaluing yourself. You don't know what to measure. When you don't know what to measure, girl, girl, you're gonna get run over by a truck. People are gonna take advantage of you. Same with brands. All they're gonna do is just take, take, take as much as possible. So you have to make it fair. So that's my number one tip. Just know your KPI. Honestly, this is not supposed to be the tutorial. If you guys want, I could do a whole video on how to price yourself as an influencer. Just let me know in the comment section. Or if you have any questions, let me know. I'm really here to help you regardless. Uh, I just want to know if you're so far enjoying this video. Give this video a like. I truly appreciate it. It truly means the world to me. Comment below. Your attention is my oxygen. So yeah, I'll just that'd be, that'd be cool. Back to how to price yourself in general. I think your KPIs are everything. So what I would do is take your KPI. Um, an example of one could be followers, right? Your followers you're giving to a brand. You also do comments and shares. Not even that, you can also do sales. You can do how many sales are you bringing to them. So you pick one, and it's as simple as this. I can go into this depth later, but you wanna know how many true fans you have. It is, just do simple math, ready? Ready. Okay, take the number of true fans you have times the average cost of the product you're working with equals how much you're up to charging. Up, the keyword is up to. Fans, do your research, make people feel value, and influencers know what your value is. Simple as that, and don't ever underprice yourself. I'm gonna actually finish this conversation, but we're gonna go meet Brennan first. I'm gonna show you guys he owns a sock company. I'll show you guys in a second. Stay tuned. You guys know where we are. This is like my favorite coffee shop right now called Oracle Coffee. I ordered my latte. And I like this place because look, the straws are metal. They're like metal. Save the environment. You know, straws are horrible for the environment. Probably I should have worn a bra with this outfit. Like, I'm literally gonna flash the world. Um, I don't know why I just told you that. Okay, never mind. Hey, you wanna say hi to my vlog? Never, <laughs> never been in a vlog. No. Hey guys, I'm here with... Brennan. What do you do? <laughs> Brennan sells socks. So basically we take white socks and actually ship these out. Okay. What is that, Brennan? These are jade socks. Oh my god. Domination socks. Where'd you find these? Where'd you find this picture? Instagram? Google images. Thank you so much, yeah. Brennan. I wow. I hope that I have. Big, yeah, wait, I have big feet. Wait, wait. You're like a size nine, right? Yeah, I'm a size. How do you know that? I can look at anyone's shoes. I guess. Oh, look. I'll put a pop tag right here. Follow pop Brennan. Tag. Okay, listen. I just found this fidget freaking spinner in my garage. Literally, my parents did not let me get a fidget spinner when it was cool and trendy because of that stupid, you know, cheap asses. And now. Found one. It makes me really happy. Okay, so today I'm gonna wrap up this conversation from earlier. I think this leaves us with one question. I think it's just, what if you're too small for a brand? What if you're too small of an influencer? What if you don't have any more followers? What if you just don't have any much likes for an influencer? You know, you just can't be an influencer if you don't have likes and followers. Like, yeah. To answer this question, I'm gonna backtrack a little bit. If you guys saw me and Brennan had coffee, uh, not really, we actually just sat outside and talked, <laughs> didn't get coffee. But um, what I wanted to say was, I think he and I were talking just about starting your personal brand, and one of the questions Brennan actually asked me was like, Jay, what if like this YouTube thing doesn't work, or does it lose credibility if you do YouTube and like get bad reputation? What if you lose followers, or what if you, what if you lose? Just what if you lose? Well, the thing I have to just say is you guys have to realize what you're doing with influencer marketing, being a brand, is basically entrepreneurship. You gotta be able to take risk. Literally, the word entrepreneur, entrepreneurship means risk, risk. Risk equals willing to fail. A lot of you guys are trying to like sugarcoat, buffer the shit. Like, okay, let me like minimize my chances. And I actually just finished up a coaching call with one of you guys, one of my students. And I think she was just asking how to like safety jacket around my results. Like, I want a clear direction. Like, I want a clear path. If you wanted a clear path, go get a job. You chose this path because you want to create your own. So don't act like this is some easy bullshit. So what I'm trying to say is, what if you're too small? Or what if you don't have enough likes? Or what if you fail? You build a bridge and get over it, Karen. Um, sorry, I've been hanging out with Ryan a lot and then we've just been saying Karen. I don't know why I could pick these names. It's always like Karen or Susan. I think too many people have the what ifs and they don't start. So I guess if you're too small of an influencer, think about your KPIs. Are you measuring the right thing? 
Brands don't give a shit about how many followers you have. They care about the attention you hold. How many people are you actually having the attention of? Because you gotta know, millennials these days, <laughs> Millennials, they scroll fast through Instagram. Just because someone likes your photo doesn't mean shit. It doesn't mean you can deliver any sales. You have to know your value first. You have to be confident in what you do. Take a risk and don't look back. Just, you know, move forward. If your brand says no, move on, but Karen, there's a thousands of other brands you can email. This is a numbers game. You try one, you move on to the next. That's why you have to keep your PR list full. So this brings me to my last point. If a brand rejects you, do the following. Get over it. You're gonna have to do this over and over again. If you can't take a slap in the face, get the fuck out. This is competitive and you need to build yourself some confidence and armor because nobody wants to follow anybody that doesn't have what they want. People will follow someone because they won't have the lifestyle they want. They have something they want. If you're not confident in the product you're selling, especially, and just if you're not confident in your product, your own videos, your own content, no one wants to fucking follow. No. You need to love your product, love yourself, and love your own account and what you're selling with a brand. If you don't actually love it, you're not gonna get that sale. Stop measuring bullshit KPIs, y'all. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of tired. I actually just want to leave this off on a positive note and just let you know I'm here for you. And I just, I don't know why you're watching this video. Sometimes it blows my mind that like 35 freaking thousand of you are here watching me. You guys are amazing. And all I want to do is keep creating content to help you as much as I'm busy with my own business. And I actually just posted a podcast about the similar topic about failure, losing likes, check it out. It was one of the best podcasts I've ever made. And some of you guys have been DMing me like crazy that you love it. Thank you, go check out the podcast and the links below. Shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.